Hi guys, this is Aryan speaking and uh, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted anything. Um, today I would like to talk about light and how light affects our physiology, our body. Um, I've been doing quite a lot of research into this because I'm a designer, I'm an electronics engineer and I've been designing quite a few LED lights. Basically all the lights you can see around you in this office are all LED. And I designed a power supply and I made basically took care of the manufacturing of those products and I got some questions from my customers like are there any negative health effects for LED so I had I didn't know I had to go and research it and I did I read quite a lot of uh, different researches that uh, have to do with light and how it affects us and what different types of light there are and how it compares to the Sun how it compares to incandescent etc and I found that this is a, a pretty interesting subject of uh, basically biology and, uh, and electronics in, in my case. Um, and I, I figured out that uh, there can be health issues with LED, just as with uh, CFL, the compact fluorescent lights that we used to have. Um, and it has to do with a couple of things. It has to do with spectrum and it has to do with light stability. Um, CFL flickers, almost visibly. Um, some LEDs are the same, which is not good for us, it's unhealthy. Our body cells seem to be light sensitive and respond to this. Um, and then there's light spectrum, so all the way from ultraviolet down to uh, infrared and near infrared. All seems to have a, an influence and um, I learned about the effects of blue light on the production of melatonin, for instance. If you uh, look at your phone screen at night, you can't sleep. Why is that? LEDs are quite blue, uh, there are blue receptors in your eyes and if they receive blue light they assume it's daytime and thus there's no serotonin being released, thus you can't sleep. Um, there's a lot of interesting connections between light and what our body does. What I looked at at the lower end of the spectrum when you're looking at red light and near infrared light is that this apparently is being used for healing. Pretty interesting, I, I, I found a few articles, uh, some of them were from Russia, some of them were from the US, uh, some of them were from NASA, that apparently have used this uh, near infrared light to uh, assist their astronauts with healing in space. That seemed to be an issue apparently that when you are out in the space stations for a long time, that if you have a wound or you get hurt somehow, that this wound doesn't heal. So. I looked into this and eventually I was so interested in it that I, I made some rudimentary uh, near infrared uh, lights, um, tested those, liked the results, as did my friends that I uh, did it with together, did the testing with, and eventually I chose to get some LEDs made. So I went to a LED factory where I go for my work anyway, and I got these guys made. These are custom made, uh, basically, uh, four different uh, frequencies of red are inside this LED. It's 30 watts, so it's relatively powerful. And it has uh, the four frequencies that are most effective for um, influencing the uh, mitochondria on our body and allowing them to produce more ATP, adrenal triphosphate which essentially is the, the energy source of the cell. It allows the cell to repair itself. It allows the cell to create more uh, RNA and more DNA and generally helps with healing. Um, so I wonder if I make this and I, I, can, I can put this in a light and I can uh, treat myself with this. I can treat all kinds of things that benefit from a higher ATP level and benefit from uh, extra oxygen at the site of wherever the issue may be. That, that could be a, a wound or a cut or a burn. It could be trying to get more ATP in your brain. As you can see, I have no hair, so for me that's relatively easy to try. Um, and I have done that and it has a significant effect. You can actually uh, really feel more energetic after 10 minutes of uh, 30 watts of uh, near infrared on your head. Um, and apparently this seems to help for anything from bone fractures to Parkinson's to uh, Alzheimer's disease to uh, 
the uh, in speed increase of uh, the healing of nerve problems, uh, pain problems. It seems to be very good for pain fighting. Um, so that, that got me interested and I was wondering, are there any other products out there that are for sale that target the same specific spectrum um, in the mitochondria that, to help people heal? Does that exist? Can I buy that right now? And my surprise was there's very little on the market. Uh, this technology is not something new. The way that we can make it now in this LED, that's pretty new. Uh, but the technology has been used for about 30 years and uh, mostly in Russia and in Germany. And they, in back in those days, they didn't have LED. They had to use laser and laser, of course, is quite expensive. So then you have to do, uh, make a therapy machine and, and go to a doctor's office or a hospital or a clinic to get treatment. But nowadays we have LED. We can make almost any uh, visible uh, wavelength and even the invisible wavelengths with LED at a relatively low cost. Um, and it seems to be quite effective at assisting the healing process. So don't get me wrong, this is not some kind of snake oil thing that you know, will solve all your problems and you know, have them melt uh, like snow before the sun. It doesn't work like that. But it increases the speed of healing and it lets things heal in your body that would normally, without this light, uh, wouldn't be able to because there simply isn't enough energy in your body cells. And that's what got me so interested on this. So there's lots and lots of research out there. I mean, just, you know, you're on YouTube now. Type it in, uh, near infrared healing, and you can see there's quite a lot of videos. There are some products that are being promoted there, but there's nothing really out there, I think, which is uh, like a an easy to use consumer product that you can use without having too much prior knowledge of, of how the, the product functions. Um, also, I, I find the products to be rather expensive. So I was wondering, uh, has anyone else been, been figuring, you know, fiddling around with this kind of near infrared stuff? And what were your findings? And who thinks that this could be something I should pick up? I mean, I'm a design engineer. I can, I can design a PCB for this. I can design a controller. and um, you know, I, I'm in China all the time. I, I know plenty of manufacturers. We could get a product made. It's, it's not rocket science. We can get that done and it wouldn't be too mad expensive either. So if, if you're interested, let me know. Um, please comment below and uh, we'll take it from there. Thank you for your time.